Hello and welcome back to the channel. So one of the things that I didn't like about Emacs is how it handles the tab key, right? You press tab and you don't really get uh, the effect that you would expect, right? So let's see how it works. Let's open up um, one of the files from before and let's go down and let's press tab. What's happening? Absolutely nothing. Okay, so what I did to fix this, because I thought it needed to be fixed, right? Was um, I changed the behavior of the tab key. Let me let me just first show you how to work with tab key if you only need it uh, for once, like once, okay? You press Control Q and then you press tab. Okay, that's pretty much it. When you press Control Q, uh, whichever key you press after that, you will get uh, the raw behavior of that key. But this is not very practical because you would need to press uh, Control Q and Tab every time you need the Tab key. So um, let's go on and fix that. Open up the config file. Config file is in Emacs init. Dot el. Okay, I'm going to copy paste what you need to do, and you will find my command uh, in the bottom of this video, so you can copy paste it for yourself. Now save it with Control XS. Okay, let's just be safe and exit Emacs. No for all. Whatever. Let's start Emacs again. And open up C document, C code. Now let's press tab. And what happened is that we got tab, right? Okay. This is pretty much what we want, right, from the tab key. Okay. Now let's open up our config file once again. And let me tell you why I don't actually like my own solution. Um... Where's Emacs config file? I keep losing it. Emacs, Emacs, Emacs. There we go. Okay. Go here. Just put this here so it's a um, non functioning line. Save it. Okay. Let's quit it one more time. No for all. Exit. Yes. Okay. Now let's start again and let me explain why. Okay, so open up the same document and let's let's just make a little bit of mess here. Make it like this and let's make it like this and let's make it like this and we can put this like here and let's put this way up high here. Okay, so what I did now is a huge mess, okay? And I'm doing, going to go to this line and I'm going to press tab and what happened it indented my code just a little bit okay let's go to print it actually kind of you know behaves like a tab but not really okay now let's go to the scanf if I press tab now so what is going to happen is that the row is going to be contracted back with the tab key okay let's press it right now it goes back, right? So it's actually indenting my code and not actually doing the tab key. It's 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 making my code clean. Okay. So this is kind of better behavior if you can get used to it, because usually when I uh, need the tab key in in writing my code is to indent my stuff. So by default in Emacs it behaves in in intelligently, right? Because if you go to this bracket here and press tab, nothing will happen. Because this does not need to be indented. Okay, now let me show you another trick. Okay, uh, so press Control X and then H to select the whole buffer. X and then H to select everything. And now, okay, let me get my notes because I forget these shortcuts. Uh, 
control meta and backslash okay control meta backslash so what this did is basically whatever i have had um highlighted it has made neat by the power of um how to put it um understanding my code uh there is another little trick is if you go here and you make it like two spaces indented intentionally and now we are at the beginning of our function right you can use control meta q to uh, fix the remainder of this function okay then thank you for watching my video and if you want to see me making more of them make sure to like subscribe and share and all that good stuff see you next time